Hello and welcome to this quick video about this model here. This is the Atom RC Flying Fish that I looked at a couple of weeks ago. Now had a chance to fly it and get it all trimmed out and I thought it would be useful to kind of share how the setup needs to be. Now I'm flying this one without a flight controller. The Flying Fish doesn't have a lot of room inside so putting a flight controller in is going to be tricky. You might be able to squeeze a stabilizer in if you really want but the fact it has the two little props out on the wings means there is a beautiful clear FPV field of view nothing is going to get in the way so first of all let's go through how you need to set it up to make sure that it's going to fly well in terms of central gravity central gravity seems to be in the right place and it behaves impeccably so do work to get it on those points that are molded under the wing I used a little battery little 3s thing and this was great. It almost got me to the right weight, but I did need to add a little weight into the nose just to get it spot on. Uh, potentially a slightly larger battery would have been a better choice, but there isn't a lot of room in the battery area. In terms of throws, because that unfortunately at the moment is something that Atom RC doesn't share with pilots, I would say that about eight millimeters up and eight millimeters down maximum is what you want for the ailerons and I would say that that's about the same for the elevator at the back rudder can be a little bit more but to be honest it flies beautifully and very stable so I would definitely not put lots of throws in terms of what I had to do to set it up to fly it this is the settings at the end so on the inputs I added 20% expo on the aileron and elevator and 50% expo on the rudder which is how I do it for pretty much all non-flight controller controlled models in terms of the mixer I dropped the aileron weight from 100 to 58 to get the right amount of throw and dropped the elevator from 100 down to 63 and the rudder down to 47 and those numbers seem to give me more or less what I needed for it to fly well still be nice and responsive but very forgiving in terms of the trim positions of all the controls I would set them up straight and level in line with either the wing or the horizontal or vertical tail feathers as per my setup video that I've done a while ago I'll put a link down below on how to do that with OpenTX in reality what I've ended up doing is there's a very very small amount of roll correction to the left that I think is because my wing is slightly twisted there shouldn't be any need for that because the counter rotating props with the twin means that there isn't that torque roll that you have to bias against I think it's just my wing is probably not 100% straight that's fine the only thing I needed was a little bit of down elevator even with it on the CG marks I found that the nose was climbing a little bit so I needed a couple of clicks of trim very very small amount as you can see in this image almost nothing but be aware of that but starting out with it in line with the horizontal stabilizer for your elevator is a good way to start because having a little bit of up bias is always handy and helpful for the launches anyway so that's how I would recommend you set it up and if you do it like that it'll fly really well. So let me go to the flying field and show you the footage of the maiden flight and me and my friend Ross figuring it all out. You ready? And Let me know how much pull it's got. Okay. Yeah, plenty. Right, okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Ready. Here we go. Woof! <laughs> okay. Wow, yes. Oh, that's actually quicker than you think. That okay, we, we have no flight controller on here. Uh, we think we need a little bit of trim on the elevator, I think. That reminds me of that um, one that Hobby King did, the small version. With a single motor. That was incredibly so lively. Going FPV, you ready? Yeah, okay. You're dropping very quickly. Do you turn in left? Oh, that's it. Okay. She's not really trimmed great, actually. She's not bad straight out the box. No. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what kind of. I reckon you could do lots of rolls and aerobatics on that. Okay, this is about 50% throttle. Yeah. The camera's not coping bad at all, actually. Um, in 
terms of trim, she's pretty good. We've got a little bit of tendency for nose up. Yeah. Maybe a couple of clip, clips to the left. I should have just gone FB brief from the start. Right, let me, because let me, the thing is, you won't be able to see it now. I can, yeah, I can just see it now in the, against the blue it gets sky. It's really small. Yeah. Okay, well, definitely. Nearly there with the trim. I would think in a bit of a windy day, you wouldn't want to fly this at all. Actually, no, it's not bad for power. Look at that, that's beautiful. And we've been a twit. It's actually got more oomph than you expect. That is very fast. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Good roll. Whoa, yes. Nice flip. Yes. Wow. This is absolutely lovely. This is really good. I mean, it's very glassy smooth. Yeah. Definitely need a few more clips. She's still pushing to the right because it is so still up there. Still a, still a little nose up, yeah. Oh. Still a tendency to drop a right wing. I think we need it there. It's very close. Okay, let me do another low part. Cut the throttle back. Nice bit of video. There you go. Lovely power on. Okay, let me let me come down the other way then, like you did. Yeah. That's what we're doing today. This is actually really nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very nice plane, that. Calm day, that's beautiful. Whoa, that yes. That it's actually quite air acrobatic. Take care. I don't think it's going to be. That's it. Very good. Yeah, it's... You know what? It seems to be side... Not quite straight. True. Yeah, true. It's Which way is the nose pointing, do you it, think? It, I think the nose was pointing a bit right, and the tail is dragging a bit left. Probably the rudder. Yeah. Um, might not be completely straight, but you know what? That is lovely. It doesn't need a flight controller. That's better. That is really quick. Okay, should we do a full beans run? Yeah, go on. See what For Uncle Ross, let's do what, a full what beans does it run. Do? Let's see what full speed looks like, because it actually <laughs> has far more power than you think it's going to have yeah. with those little props. Um, I mean, it has got two of the things. Right, okay, let me line up. Here we go. Line up, give it the beans. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's actually really good. Nice little plane. That is a cracking little plane. I think as a little boot plane or, yeah. you know, a little something... That's fab. Well done, Captain RC. That is good. Yeah, that's lovely. Careful now. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. Yeah, definitely. That was good. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.